The Bucks win over the Celtics, coupled with the Sixers' loss, moves Milwaukee now into the two seed in the East. ESPN's Basketball Power Index gives the Bucks a 36% chance to keep the two seed, but beware that might lead to a first-round matchup with the Nets. More on that later on, but let's welcome in these NBA dudes, shall we? Jordan's here with me. Perk, good morning. Zach, good morning to you guys. And so let's start with this. It looks like we could end up getting here a Raptors-Sixers first-round matchup. And so, Jay, I'll start with you first. Is Philly at real risk of losing that series if they do get the Raptors out of the gate? Shay, I can tell you, you would not want to spend your life alongside Doc Rivers. If you get on me for not dealing with reality and not being able to admit reality, you'd have a problem here because Doc's not dealing in reality. And when you look at this, it's very clear to me, Philly's going to lose in the first round of the Toronto Raptors. I'm going to tell you why. Let's start with James Harden, who is shades of his former self. And in that highlight that Shea was discussing, we would see James Harden drive that ball and he'd be disrupted by what Toronto presents defensively. Long athletes that pack the paint make it difficult for James Harden. Okay, so you've got Joel Embiid. He went for 30 and 10 in this game. Well, he better find ways to go for 40 against this Toronto Raptors squad. A Raptors defense, by the way, that you heard Joel Embiid say, this might be the most aggressive defense that I go against. And Nick Nurse switching things up, making it challenging for Joel Embiid to get his when Embiid is not playing like Hercules and he's off the floor this group is incredibly vulnerable I love the Toronto Raptors they're kind of like a poor man's heat squad to me Shay and how they go about it poor man's heat squad Perk what say you what do you think about that you know Shay my, my grandmother had a saying when I used to say some crazy stuff she used to say God bless your heart baby you don't know no better <laughs> and that's what I'm telling Jordan right now listen <laughs> here's the thing okay when you look at this Toronto Raptor team, I'm not taking anything away from them. I think they're playing exceptional basketball, but it comes down to superstar power. And Joel Embiid is an MVP candidate, probably should be the front runner. It's between him and Jokic. That's a whole nother story. But let me take you deeper inside what's going on. Last night, what I witnessed, I saw that Nick Nurse showed his hand. And the one thing that you don't do before the playoffs is show your hand. And when I say show your hand, it's, diff it's those defense, that matchup zone defense, because now you give Doc Rivers and the Philadelphia 76ers a, a chance to actually go and break down film, go and break down film against them to show him be different spots and put him in position to be successful. James Harden is not going to struggle throughout this series. It come down to star power. Look, we could talk about slowing down MB, but the fact of the matter is, is that Joel Embiid could be the, is going to be the best player in this series. Joel Embiid could actually dominate this series. They're too light in the front court. They don't have enough size. And what Joel Embiid and James Harden do a great job of, getting to the free throw line. You, that matters. You get guys in foul trouble, you don't have enough, you don't have enough bodies to throw at hey. Joel and beat throughout the seven-game series. Hey, Perk, if we were playing a drinking game and it was how many times you use the word Joel Embiid, we'd all be ten sheets to the weekend here. <laughs> Look, Joel, Joel Embiid yeah. is a big piece of what they do, obviously. But Joel Embiid going for 30 and 10 and playing 40 minutes, it's what happens in those other eight where you're spotting the opposition 10 points. And as for Nick Nurse showing his hand, I know it's going to be hard for you, of all people, Perk, to admit this, but if you're going Nick Nurse or Doc Rivers in the postseason – who are you really picking? Nick Nurse didn't show his hand because he showed so many different ways. We saw that pick and roll and how they treated James Horton. They showed one way, they showed another. They're not showing their hand right now. All right, let's get Zach Lowe here in on the conversation because he's with us here this morning. Zach, what do you think about this? Jordan thinks that if the Raptors and the Sixers match up, the Sixers could be bounced in the first round. Perk disagrees and says Nick Nurse already showed his hand and we saw oh, it last no, night. No, what, no, what's your no, take? no, 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 no. <laughs> he, he didn't say he think they could. He said, said that they were going to win. Yeah, okay, give cool. me the Raptors. I said give Sorry, me the Raptors. I, I didn't mean to give him an out. He said they definitely <laughs> will win. What do you think, Zach? Can we just settle down? It's too early for this level of animosity. Everyone settle down. <laughs> Here's where we are. I'm prepared to say this. This is a coin flip series. The Raptors are really good, and they love this matchup. Last season, Joel Embiid came on my podcast, and he said, there's one team I hate playing against. Toronto because they swarm me with all these 6A dudes with long arms from all kinds of different angles and they make me give up the ball and I never know where the double's coming from and I hate it. It's miserable. And Perk, you mentioned superstar power. That's what the Sixers are betting on. I'm waiting on their second superstar to mm -hmm. play like a superstar. James Harden is shooting 40% 
as a sixer. He's shooting 53% at the rim, at the rim for the season. He couldn't beat Precious Achua off the dribble last night when it mattered. I felt more comfortable with Tyrese Maxey with the ball in his hand. That's great for Tyrese Maxey, not great for James Harden. It wasn't their idea. If this is the James Harden, Toronto has a real chance. I, you, you know what? Let me warn both of you guys for that James Harden has tricked us plenty of times. We thought he was fat and out of shape when he was coming out of Houston and he showed up in Brooklyn and started putting up numbers. We thought that he was out of shape and we thought he had a hamstring injury, injury before he arrived in Philadelphia and then he started putting up big numbers. Don't let this version of James Harden trick you. He does have an on and off switch. Not taking anything from the Raptors, but I, if I'm banking on this series, I'm going with MVP. Uh, uh, Joel and Ben, I Perk. said it one more time for you, Joy. So I got another Perk. drink in my Perk. system. Perk, I love you. I love your grandmother. You're talking about being fooled a bunch of times? The postseason, we've seen consistently who James Harden is. And now you're going to tell me, forget all those failures in the postseason from prime Harden. Give me the lesser Harden, who, by the way, Zach mentioned the struggles last five games. He shoot 32% from the field with 19 turnovers. This is definitely the one you don't want to trust. All right, we'll leave this here. We're going to revisit it later uh. on. Because Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.